Good morning, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled Costly Joy by Glenn Peckham. When a man found it, he went and sold all he had and bought the field. Matthew 13, verse 44. At the sound of the digital melody, all six of us sprang into action. Some slipped shoes on, others simply bolted for the door barefoot. Within seconds, we were all sprinting down the driveway, chasing the ice cream truck. It was the first warm day of summer, and there was no better way to celebrate than with a cold, sweet treat. There are things we do simply because of the joy it brings us, not out of obligation or discipline. In the pair of parables found in Matthew 13, the emphasis is selling everything to gain something else. We might think that the stories are about sacrifice, but that is not the point. In fact, the first story declares it was joy that led the man to sell everything and buy the field. Joy drives change, not guilt or duty. Jesus is not one segment of our lives. His claim on us are total. Both men in the story sold all, but here's the best part. The results of this selling of everything is actually gain. We may not have guessed that. Isn't life in Christ about taking up our cross? Yes, it is. But when we die, we live. When we lose our life, we find it. When we sell all, we gain the greatest treasure, Jesus. Joy is the reason, surrendering is the response. The treasure of knowing Jesus is the reward. How have you experienced joy in your relationship with Jesus? What is he inviting you to surrender to him today? Let us pray. Dear Jesus, open my eyes to see the treasures that you are. Direct my heart to you as the source of true unfailing joy and let me ever be fixed on you. Grant me the grace to surrender my all to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel and please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.